When you start programming in JavaScript, it helps to think of an empty JavaScript program as the first level of a sandbox game. The world is still empty, but there's some underlying structure to it to build on. That structure needs to be there so that you can write custom JavaScript code in the first place. However, besides the underlying structure, a new JavaScript program is kind of like a blank slate for you to build on. It's up to you, the programmer using JavaScript, to say, let's build this world. And an important part of this process is knowing how to use variables. In this video, you will learn how to identify what a variable is and why you need it, distinguish between variable declaration and variable assignment, and describe how to get a variable's value and reassign it. Let me demonstrate this now using some code to assign a value to a variable and output it to the console. Right now, I have the Developer Tools panel open in my web browser. You can access this by pressing F12 on Windows and Linux or Command Option I on Mac. Then I select the Console tab. This works with any browser. And for this example, I'm using Google Chrome. Now I want to give JavaScript some idea of what I want to build. And I start by adding a person's name. I do this by typing John in double quotation marks. JavaScript receives this person's name and accepts it. There are no errors. This means I've given it some valid data, something that JavaScript can work with. Now let's say that I want JavaScript to say, hello, John. In other words, I want it to use the name that I gave JavaScript and I want it to greet the person. But how do I do it? If I type, hello, John, I'm just typing the whole thing myself. I really want JavaScript to use the name I provided so I don't have to keep retyping it. And this is where variables come in. By using a variable, I can save the name John so that I can reuse it in the future. To save this name in a variable, I'll start with the keyword var and use it to signal to JavaScript that I'm giving it a value that I want it to reuse. To declare a variable, I type the keyword var. Now, I need to declare a fact about this world that I'm building. So I type person, semicolon, and press enter. Great, I've just declared my variable, person. I've given JavaScript one fact about the world that I'm building. The fact that there is a value that I'd like to reuse and that this value is accessible using the word person. Thus, I have completed the variable declaration. However, I still haven't given a name to the person variable. In programming jargon, I'd say that the person variable hasn't been assigned a value yet. The person variable is still undefined. In other words, for the person variable to hold the value of John, I need to assign the value of John to the person variable. To do this, I'll use the assignment operator, the equal sign. Operators perform certain operations. And the assignment operator's purpose is to take the value that is on its right and put it into what it's on its left. So, to assign the name John to the variable person, I type var person equals John in between quotes. I've taken the value John and assigned it to the person variable using the assignment operator. To confirm that this is really the case, let me inspect the contents of the person variable by typing person semicolon. It returns John as the result. Now that I have this value in a variable, I no longer have to type John every time I want to use it. I can have JavaScript output the text, hello John, to the console by using the built-in console.log method. This is a common approach to outputting values in JavaScript. Notice that the browser is intelligently trying to guess what programming statement I want as I type. Don't worry about this now. I just want you to concentrate on variables and the console.log method. The console.log method can accept one or more values, separated by commas. So I type console.log, open parenthesis. Then I type hello in quotes, comma, person for the variable, and then close parenthesis. Notice that hello John is now logged to the console. This is an example of combining static text with a dynamic variable where the value can change. But why stop here?
why not save the greeting in a variable too? Let's create another variable and call it greeting and assign this new variable the value hello in quotation marks. Now, when I use the console.log method with both variables, greeting and person, the words are the values of these variables, hello John, are logged to the console. Finally, let me show you why variables are so useful. Now that I have the person and the greeting variables, I can reassign them, replacing their stored values. For example, I can change the value of the variable from hello to hi by typing greeting equals hi in quotation marks. Similarly, I can change the value of the variable person from John to James by doing the same thing. I type person for the variable, then equals, and finally James in quotation marks. Now the value of the variable greeting is hi and the value of the variable person is James. Notice that now I haven't used the var keyword when I reassigned the values to the variables that I created earlier. That's because JavaScript already knows that these variables exist in the world that I'm building. But the variables don't have to be static and unchangeable. That would be a pretty boring world, right? Now, I run the exact same piece of code as before by typing console.log and the name of the variables. Notice that I'll get a completely different result logged to the console, hi James. This is very important because it allows me to use the same code and get different results. This is the power of variables. If you want to find out more, there is an additional reading at the end of this lesson. Congratulations! You now know how to create a variable in JavaScript. Variables allow us to make the exact same code produce different results, making our programs versatile. And that's it for this video on variables. Now that you've had some insight into how JavaScript's world building works, I hope you are excited to learn about more than just variables.